Hello guys, today I want to tell you about a new feature that appeared and was released in Laravel 8.39 10 days ago as I'm shooting this video, probably by the time it's released it's even more days, but the latest Laravel version contains this added password validation rule. And what it does, it's submitted by Nuno Maduro, the core member of Laravel team, and it allows to add more rules to the password. So instead of doing confirmed or minimum, there is a password, like a separate validation rule, where you can combine more conditions like minimum, maximum, letters, numbers, symbols, and also uncompromised. But one by one, we will try it out on a fresh Laravel project with Laravel Breeze. And by default, Laravel Breeze Starter has this code in registered users controller, validating password by this chain of rules. And let's try to use the new password rule instead. And we need to transform that string based validation rules to the array. So we need to have array to be able to use custom rules. So required, then string, then confirmed. And then instead of minimum eight, we will have password validation rule. It's automatically added on my use section via PHP storm. So for example, minimum eight characters, and then you can change something. And PHP storm shows a few methods here. So for example, let's choose letters. So at least one letter should be present. At least one number should be present. And probably it should be mixed case, which means at least one uppercase or lowercase letter. You can see all the list here, original pull request, and I will link that in the description of this video, or you can read the official documentation, which is pretty similar. Validating passwords is a new section on Laravel docs, and I will link that as well. But let's stick to the original pull request, which has the comments. So mixed case is at least one uppercase or lowercase letter, and one by one, you can read them all. So let's try it out. Here's our register page. I've zoomed it in a bit, fake filler, register and we're in. So my password was good enough because it was generated automatically by fake filler. But let's try to generate something more simple like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So no letters, only numbers. So the password must contain at least one uppercase and lowercase and letters in general. So these are the rules available from 839 Laravel, as I said. And one pretty interesting rule, new thing is uncompromised which is using under the hood, the validating password documentation, it's using have I been pawned service, like an API to check if your password was leaked in some kind of data leak. So it doesn't check the password itself, it checks email or phone. So for example, if we put an admin admin com here, probably it is compromised somewhere. 132 data breaches and so a lot of stuff, which is really expected with admin admin com. But if we do some totally random email, it probably will show success. So good news, great. And you can implement that in your Laravel project just by adding uncompromised here as one of the rule parameter. And if we try to register again with admin admin com like this, you will have error that the password has appeared in data leak. Generally, for new features like this one, I advise you to view the actually files that have been changed. For example, you may want to know what are the error messages possible. And you can go to the pull request, it's public, it's free, and you can search for, for example, appeared in data leak. Yep, so this is the message with the method called passes. So if the validator fails, these are the error messages. So you can find more details like this in the original pull request. Also pull request contains some discussions. So maybe you want to know some context of when it was released, why it was released, some history, discussions with Taylor himself or other team members. It's always fun to read the actual pull request and have a backstory and context. Also, I advise you to watch the news on Laravel framework. So for example, releases, if you go to GitHub, on the right hand side, there are releases. And here you can read what is new in this week's release, because there are minor versions released every week. So 839 contains this amount of changes. And you can go to all releases and watch 838 or version six is also updated with fixes. So 837 and so on. So despite the fact that Laravel 9 is coming only in autumn of 2021, there are minor new fixes and new things released every week. 
and I will try to report about them, about the most interesting one daily on this channel, on Laravel Daily. So if you want to support my mission, you can support me financially by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen from myself and my team. By purchasing those, you're giving me my free time to shoot daily videos free on YouTube here. See you guys in other videos.